Kodiak quality, reliability. You can't wait until a car is built, then inspect and repair quality into that car. You build it in, step by step. Electric arc melt furnaces, some of the largest of the type, turn out a more uniform quality metal than old style cupolas, and they meet clean air standards. In another area, core forming for the molds, the shapes that keep the molten metal out of the areas you want left open. For example, the cylinders in an engine block. Ram sand down into the engine block mold. Press the shape of the block into the sand with a powerful pattern. Put in the cores and you're ready to pour it on. Take away the sand, the cores, and there's the beginning of an engine block, or whatever other part is being cast for the car. From this point on, it's a careful, precise, whittling away process. Milling and boring involve a three-step procedure. Rough cut, semi-finish, then fine finish. It goes on and on and on, for a total of over 500 individual machining operations. instruments check the various dimensions to make sure that the block to that point is being held to design tolerances. If not, the line stops and an operator refers to a control panel to pinpoint the instrument probe that detected the problem. Correct the problem and the line starts rolling again. And then there are the drilling and reaming operations on the block, hundreds of them, with enough instrumented probing to make certain the holes are positioned correctly and drilled to the right size. Some machining is so precise that heating elements are used to keep the tools at a constant temperature. At the completion of the rough and semi-finish, machining and drilling operations, spot checks for all dimensions to this point. The idea is to detect and correct problems as they occur, not have them show up on the engine test stand. Next, the finishing operations a major key to a reliable, smooth-running engine. For example, finish boring on crankshaft, camshaft, and distributor openings simultaneously so that final alignment between the three will be precise for durable, trouble-free engine performance. But you don't leave it there. You check every engine to see that alignment is perfect. Cylinder bores are honed to micro-close tolerances.
Again, a 100% check for exact dimensioning. Find any discrepancies now, before the engine is assembled. And then, even with the extremely precise bore sizing, each bore is marked for matching with the corresponding size piston. The finished engine block built and tested almost completely automatically for uniform, consistent dimensioning. But now, people take over, make certain that machines have done their jobs, that each engine is right. Crankshafts follow the same automated multi-step process as engine blocks, from castings to finely finished shafts. Crank pins are machined one at a time, unique in the automotive industry for better rigidity, a longer lasting engine. Automated machining and drilling ensures uniformity and the continual gauging at each station calls a halt to the operation if problems occur. Handling, fully automated, no damage during production. Main bearing finish, critical to engine performance, not only is measured as it's done, the measurements are displayed and recorded. Final process, crankshaft balance, so critical to engine life and smooth operation. It's fully automatic, just the right amount of metal removed. With the crankshaft right, the assembled engine can be finely balanced. And then, you check 28 dimensions electronically. Computer controlled, the whole operation is automatic, right down to an analysis of any problems that turn up. Many other operations contribute to a reliable engine, some of them unique to automobile engine production. For example, combustion chambers are completely machined for consistent and predictable fuel burning, better performance, and ensures emission control to government standards. Engine components ready and right, time now for assembly, with gauging and inspection all along the way to make sure the correct fitting of part to part takes place. Piston, rods, and crankshaft in place, the engine is balanced to one half inch ounce by drilling away metal in the counterweights. Result, a smooth, quiet engine, a long life engine. Every engine gets this treatment.
Now, gaskets bonded to oil pans and rocker arm covers to prevent oil leaks. All the dozens of components, distributor, timing chain, carburetor, everything that attaches to the engine goes on. Topped by a spark plug gap check so that the engine will run smooth, perform. And then every engine is started, run, and inspected for proper operation. Finally, an air check to make sure there are no water or oil leaks. When the engine goes to the car assembly line, it's right.